Women uh, play such a critical role in conserving agrobiodiversity, but also conserving the knowledge on how to recognize this crop, how to use them for food security of their families. And uh, the reality is that uh, women have been too often marginalized by research and development. So in this project we try to correct that and we have been so happy of the contribution that we made for their empowerment. For instance, I remember uh, the great uh, excitement uh, in the villages in uh, Bolivia where uh, women uh, obtained uh, some uh, processing machine that uh, were developed by the project, we call it this a bonification machine, and that's uh, just as a, a machine that was uh, developed uh, to remove the saponin, which is an alkaloid that uh, surrounded the seeds of these Andean grains. Usually women have to spend the whole day with a mortar and a pestle to remove this, uh, this saponin, and uh, uh, the project was able to develop a, a very easy a simple machine that made this job in just a few minutes. Uh, the similar impact, uh, we had it also in India, where women also had to spend the whole day uh, to remove the husks, those little glooms that wrap the seed, uh, in order to use them properly. The same, uh, the introduction of a small uh, milling machine made also this operation much easier. So, the life of women changed because of the project. This uh, um, image here uh, shows uh, several smiling faces. So these were uh, women, a member of a self-group from uh, uh, a region uh, of India called Koli Hill, and uh, precisely in Tamil Nadu state. Uh, most of these women are illiterate, uh, except uh, this lady, uh, Mrs. Jaya Apusami, and uh, she played a very important role as a leader of this group, self help group. And uh, this is one of the more than 56 groups uh, that uh, the project has established since uh, 2001 and, uh, and has empowered through the use of this uh, neglected and underutilized species.